Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Space Engine, and we're going to see what the night sky would look like in different situations. Alright, so we have a galaxy here. This is not the Milky Way, this is... let's see. Um, I think it's just a procedurally generated... yeah, so this isn't a real galaxy, but it's randomly generated. So, um, I want to see what it would look like to live inside one of these galaxies. Alright, so here's a... Um, it's a moon, but it has life. It's an airless mini aquaria with life. Uh, Subglacial. So that means that the life lives inside of like these glaciers here. If we go land on this. All right. So this is our view of the galaxy that we get. That's pretty cool. It like it's dark space out there, and then very very bright galaxy all around the sky right here. And we get. This is actually in a binary star system, so that's what these, those two stars are. Um, if we come out here some more, ooh, that was way too fast. We can go from the galaxy and zoom in slowly to where we were. So that's what it would look like to live in this galaxy. Um, I want to know what it would look like to live inside of a star cluster. Do the Pleiades is a star cluster. Let's go to the Pleiades. All right, so here's the Pleiades, and this is what it looks like normally in the night sky. So I wonder what it would look like to live like in one of these stars on one of the planets in here. If we go in here and check out some of these planets. All right, oh, this is a pretty cool planet. So if we lived on here, uh, let's fly down here. Um, it's day right now, right here, but this is what the sky is gonna look like. We can turn on. This is more realistic lighting. So it's day, so it's harder to see. But let's fly over to where it's night. Whoa, very mountainous terrain over here. Oh, this is cool. This is like right at the sunset level, golden hour keep going a little more this is where it's dark all right go a little darker so this is still in the Milky Way but that's the view of the Milky Way from the Pleiades and these are the other stars in the Pleiades you can see they shine blue see if we turn off HDR or if we turn on HDR then it you can see it better but this is more like realistic lighting of what it would look like to the human eye I also want to know what it would look like to live in the Andromeda Galaxy, so let's go there. So here's the Andromeda Galaxy. Um, let's find a star that's in like one of these edge areas. Something around here. Maybe something up here. Here's a red giant star. menu. So it's got binary planets. This planet looks actually pretty neat. Let's go take a look at it. That's a cool looking planet. It's got a lot of these weird spots on it. And that's the view of the Andromeda galaxy from here, which is kind of insane. I want to land on one of its moons and take a look because you can't really land on these gas giants very easily. But here's an asteroid. So if we go and land on this back side of it. All right, so now we're on it. That's really cool. Okay, so if we were on it, and let's turn on auto photo mode. You could be standing on this asteroid and look out and see this giant gas giant. This amazing gas giant. Then you could look up over here and the Andromeda Galaxy is just right there. It fades out when we look at that bright light, so let's move back from it. So if you were on an asteroid all the way out here, it would look pretty similar to this. Ooh, it glows, that's really cool actually. You could look up into the night sky and the Andromeda Galaxy should show up. There it is. I wanna see if we can see the Milky Way from here. 
Milky Way is right there. So you can see the Milky Way from here. So on this asteroid, uh, there's the Andromeda Galaxy and there is the Milky Way. We can actually fly to it. We turn up our speed. Oh, I went way through it. All right, I want to see what it would look like to be inside of a nebula. So let's look up, let's do the Orion Nebula. That's one of the more famous ones. So here's the Orion Nebula, and this is what it looks like from Earth. Um, and this is what it looks like when we're up close to it, I guess. Let's try to get a star that's right on the edge, like this star right here. Check out the planets. It's got a warm, arid terra. Let's check that one out. That's a cool looking planet. Oh, that's got a lot of red nebula stuff around it too. So if we can, let's go to the back side of this so it's dark. And go land on it. All right, so if we land on here, we can see that's the Milky Way from down here. Let's turn on. So this is what it would realistically look like. It looks like we're too close to the light still. And the Orion Nebula is right here. Let's move closer. So you can still see the light. This is like sunset, golden hour. And you could still look up and see that beautiful purple hue in the sky. And that's the Orion Nebula. Let's see. So it looks like it's brighter over here. So if we come over here where it's darker. Where is, where is the darker spot? Over here. Oh, we can get a cool ring effect with the star. That's cool. It looks like it doesn't get fully dark on this planet. Where's the Orion Nebula? It's right there. So let's try a different one. We could try one of these asteroids. So you could stand here. If you were here in real life, that's what the Orion Nebula would look like. That's crazy. That takes up such a big portion of the night sky. And then the Milky Way is over here. And you got all of these other nebulas here. That'd be so cool to be over here. So this is another star cluster. This one's actually in the Milky Way. So I want to know what the night sky would look like in one of these bigger clusters. So let's go to like, what about this star here? It's a binary. Let's do, okay, let's do this one. There's a lot of binary stars in these star clusters because there's so many right next to each other. Um, let's take a look at, this planet looks really cool. So let's check it out. Wow. All right. And there's the star cluster. The star cluster is like perfectly in its daytime cycle. So let's speed up time. All right, that, that'll work. So then we can come land on here. Oh, it looks like there's some volcanic activity on the surface. Let's just avoid that and just go straight to the surface. All right, let's turn it on auto. So you look up at the night sky. You see these magnificent rings that the planet has. I don't know why they cut off right there. That's kind of weird. But you can see we're in a star cluster. I feel like it's hard to get fully dark in these star clusters because of the... There's so much light happening. I figured it out. That's a shadow. It's got to be, right? Maybe? Oh, yeah, it is. Can you go inside these rings? Alright, well that's going to be it for this video. If you want to see more Space Engine content, leave a like on this video and I'll make more. And if you want to see more of my content in general, please subscribe as it helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see you all next time.